This is Peter Rubin flying solo this time for a very special episode of Game Life. I'm here on Microsoft's campus. We've got an exclusive look at something you might have heard a little something about, but we're the only ones with the details, so let's take a look. Why do I look like a clay man right now? Here to answer that question, please introduce yourself, sir. Yeah, I'm Scott Evans. I'm the Group Program Manager for Connect at Microsoft. Excellent. So, Scott, this is what? This is just the 3D depth map of the new Connect sensor, correct? Yeah, you're seeing what the sensor itself sees. You're seeing yourself represented here in three dimensions. The 3D vision itself, which uh -huh. is what made Connect famous, we've made high definition and high fidelity. If you step a little closer even, you can see the buttons in your shirt. Um, you see the buttons you can see. Then this is little minute changes in depth that we can see with the sensor. Now Connect is more than just a 3D vision camera. Mm -hmm. It also has a 2D vision camera. And you can see that we've got oh. a, a 1080p high definition color feed across that whole field of view. But one of the challenges with a color feed is it's very susceptible to changes in room lighting. Mm -hmm. So we've introduced a new technology we call Active IR. Yeah, and the magic here is really in how it filters out room lighting. And a good way to show that is we can make we can lower the lights in this room, we can close the blinds, and you'll see that that color image becomes unusable, but this Active IR image is completely unchanged. I, I can't see any differences from when it was uh, light in the room and when it was totally dark in the room. And another fun way to show this technology at work, we'll use this little flashlight here, mm -hmm. and you can simulate a lamp, for example, on the side. And we'll go back to color, and you can imagine if a lamp was sitting next to you on the end table, right. completely washing out only half of your face. And if we go back to Active IR, we can see that that light is completely Nothing. removed from the scene. Well, let's bring okay. the lights back up. Okay, yeah, so all of this, we, I, I should just point out, this is just all what the, the Kinect sensor sees and hears before it gets worked into an experience for, for you at home with the Xbox. Exactly. And now the first capability is skeletal tracking. Okay. This was one of the core techs uh, that we introduced with Kinect for 360. Uh -huh. And you see that we've taken skeletal tracking and, made, and leveraged that 3D vision and made it high definition as well. We've got more joints, more right. expressive movement. You can see the lean in your spine. You can shrug your shoulders. All of that movement is being represented here in your skeleton. We even have enough fidelity to show your, your, your hand joints, the tips oh, yeah, of your fingers, your thumbs. So we can How see about pinches. A gun? Yeah, can... It knows if I'm pointing a gun at the screen. Yep. What if I want to go menace to society and go from the side? Got yep. it. Full Got it. style. Okay. Now, on top of skeletal tracking, we have enough fidelity to even look at how your joints are rotating. So I'm going to turn on uh, rotation. And this is, a, this is a representation we call Boxman. No more cheating in Dance Central. It is going to know exactly what you're doing. Or Even your head, if you rotate your head and make little circles there, we can see that represented as well. So we can see exactly where you're looking in the room. Oh, my yoga game is going to be on point. We can combine a physics model uh -huh. and start to understand muscles and forces that uh -huh. are exerted through the body. We're going to turn that on here. We've got a representation here what? of you. And what you're seeing is as the skeleton's moving from green to red, it's showing where the force is being applied. Okay. So you're shifting your weight and you're right. seeing the weight shift on one foot. Um, if you jump up in the air while you're midair, you'll be all green because there's no force. And as you land, you see your feet turn red. And we can even see force applied through movement. Uh -huh. So if you throw some punches here at the sensor, uh, we see these white yeah. circles. If you put your back into it, however, we can see a much oh. bigger circle. Yeah, but how about a fireball? Hadouken! Ah, oh, it's on now. Street Fighter, we're coming. On top of muscle and force, uh -huh. uh, from a fitness perspective, we can also start to estimate your heart rate. So we're gonna bring that up. We use what? the sensor feed. Okay. Uh, we can look for patches of your skin and look at micro fluctuations in the blood underneath your skin and estimate your heart rate from that. And then finally, we start to look at the people in the room and estimate uh -huh. moods and how they're feeling and how they're engaging with the system through what we call our expressions platform. We'll bring that up. And here you can see that we've zoomed in your face and uh -huh. we can show if you're neutral or smiling. We can see if you're looking at the system versus looking away. Maybe you're reading a newspaper or playing with your smartphone. Now, now, did you actually use me as a reference for this expression guy? Because that is, that's uncanny. It's a, it is a very close resemblance. That's a, our generic representation of what's going on. So I'm gonna jump in the scene with you. I'm gonna grab a controller. Okay. Now we've got two people. So now you're controller one, I'm, I'm controller, controller one, two. you're controller two. I can, we can change controllers. But then it'll... And you can it see can that be. it knows now that we've swapped controllers. And it signed you in. It signed me in automatically using because I've used this, this Xbox before. You didn't have to do the whole thing where you wave and then it sees you and you have to sign in and do the thing. It just recognized me and signed me in. We can even switch positions here. And you can see that not only did the controllers follow us, but we swapped spaces on the screen. So you can imagine a multiplayer game now 
Um, it doesn't matter where I'm sitting in the couch, I can jump in uh, without any user interface, without any sign in, and the screen can split relative to where I'm sitting in the room. We've got orientation, we've got muscle and force, we've got heart rate, we've got expression and engagement, we've got the dark, but what if we tie this all together and do five people in the dark? We, we can do six, but we can, we'll do five here to, okay. to put them in. We all right, we'll slow it down for you then. So I'll bring right. up skeletal tracking again. Let's bring some friends in. Yeah, let's cut the lights. All right, totally dark. Totally dark. All right, guys, come on in. I'll switch over to active IR so we can see in the dark here. Good bring in more some people friends. in here. See now, look at that. Let's jump. One, two, three. All right, Simon says touch your head. Crane technique. Oh, you have to do the Harlem shake. Ah, ah, ah. No, I'm just playing. All right, got it, wired. <laughs>